employees should be able to go to work for eight hours and not have to worry about their health. We have staff and citizens who experience and express concerns almost on a daily basis. The Titanic is sinking and we don't have a lifeboat. The downtown municipal court is decrepit, riddled with asbestos, and at the brink of disaster that should shut the building down on any given day. That's how it's described in emails. KXAN investigator Kylie McGivern obtained court officials say the city put off fixing the problem for so long that the situation is now dire. Kylie. Yes, well, an emergency closure of the downtown municipal court building back in November only told part of the story. Air tests for asbestos came back negative, according to the city, but highlighted major concerns. The presiding judge begging council members not to let anyone minimize the health and safety risk. We have about 600 people, including staff, per day who come in and out of the building. A building on the brink of a shutdown. And many people come in with their families, their parents, their small children. Municipal court clerk Mary Jane Grubb then, says they've been uh, sounding the alarm so for 20 things. years about the need for a new building. Floor, yes. I would say the level of concern for the, the folks who work here is very high. Emails detailing rodents, leaks, decay, and the need for a total sewer line replacement. For various reasons, it has gotten pushed back to the back burner. Do to the question marks of exactly where all of the asbestos containing material is in the building and other issues that we were facing, Building Services has recommended and we fully support that they come in and do a full remediation of the building. Now serving 274. Remediation that would require relocating municipal court operations. It's an irresponsible decision to expect citizens, including defendants, to come into contact with a building that we cannot guarantee is safe. The workers' union says it heard from numerous city employees about the potential asbestos exposure. Even though the city was going in there trying to say, we've tested, everything's fine, well, they're not buying it. And we're not buying it either. We know it's not fine. Even if you accept that the asbestos level isn't dangerous, even if you do, it is still an unstable environment for us to have justice in this town. Councilmember Jimmy Flanagan says he's appalled at the conditions of the court. We are going to address it. I've made it very clear to staff that my temperature is going to rise exponentially if this thing isn't dressed and we don't have a clear plan forward in February. Now city staff is working to break down the cost of relocating municipal court operations within the next six to eight months. A city spokesperson tells us they do know where asbestos is in the building and that periodic surveys are done to confirm, saying the city errs on the side of caution and tests any building material before disturbing it if there is a question. But our continuing investigation into potential asbestos ex exposures, that is, found that hasn't always happened. The city manager's office launched an executive review following our investigation into four city departments. We plan to discuss the results next week. Sydney? Kylie, thank you. We've been looking into asbestos contamination inside city buildings for months. In November, we told you work inside city-owned facilities used by the fire department, Austin Water, and Parks and Rec may have exposed dozens of workers over a year and a half. The city manager's office launched an executive review following our investigation. And in June, we found 120 employees at Austin Bergstrom International Airport were exposed to asbestos contamination. You can read our full investigation over on KXAN.com.